Hello and welcome to London Shoes. This is a series of journeys through some of the more unusual and perhaps lesser known historical aspects of this magnificent city of London. My name is Jeff Clements and I'm a Londoner born and bred. I've lived, worked and socialised in London throughout my entire life and I have a deep passion for its history, its people and its culture. You can find out more about that on my website www.londonshoes.blog. So, why not put on your London shoes and take a walk with me and let's see what we can find. Did you know there are more than 600 public squares in London? And my London shoes have taken me down to the bottom of St James Street to Pickering Place, which is the smallest public square in London and probably the smallest one in the UK. You'll see the beautiful Georgian architecture and the original fixtures and fittings of railings, gas lamps, etc. Such a beautiful place. It is not that easy to find, but it is an alleyway right down the bottom of St James Street, next to the famous wine merchants Berry Brothers and Rudd Limited, the oldest wine merchants in London, who have been trading there since 1698. It is said that in the tunnels and cellars running beneath Pickering Place, there are stored up to 200,000 bottles of wine at any one time. It was Berry Brothers and Rudd Limited who designed and built Pickering Place, right back in the 1700s. And access to the square is via a narrow oak panel tunnel right next to the wine merchants. Entering into Pickering Place is a little bit like stepping back in time. With its dimly lit area and its seclusion, it's no wonder that back in the day, it was notorious for being a gambling den, a brothel, bear baiting, and also a place where allegedly the last duel took place in London. Throughout the past centuries, Pickering Place has had many famous residents. The fine Regency dandy and close friend of King George IV, Beau Brummel, the guy who invented the cravat, used to live there. And it is said that he also won quite a few duels there as well. Lord Palmerston, twice Prime Minister of Great Britain, was also a resident. Pickering Place was also the location of the Texan Embassy at a time when Texas was an independent state before it joined the United States of America. In fact, there is an old brass plaque on display just inside the entrance to Pickering Place that commemorates the time when the embassy was located there. There you have it, Pickering Place, London's smallest public square. It may be small, but it's perfectly formed. A bit like me. Don't forget, you can find out more about Pickering Place on my website, www.londonshoes.blog.